In the cash flow, you want to look at working capital management. Make sure that the that there's not a lack of discipline in how inventories are managed. Inventories can be depleted, which tends to mean that there's a lot of cash being being cash is being generated, and perhaps it's being used. You have to identify how that might be the case. Um, you look at other kinds of things. Different financing choices that are being made might be signaling uh, back to you that there are there's some they're getting short-term capital. If, for example, the firm decides to enter into a factoring arrangement, selling its receivables at 80 percent of their their face value, there might be a signal there that there's some cash problems associated with the re with the firm. And you want to make sure that as particularly if it has a lot of physical assets that investments are being made in property, plant, and equipment to replace those assets as their value is depleted. That's not the same as depreciation, which is effectively an accounting entry. You do want to have investments in replacing the, those physical assets. Now, you, people sometimes say that's investing in depreciation. Um, depreciation really is an accounting treatment that divides it up, but you do want to make investments that approximate um, depreciation. So you want to understand that trade-off and that difference a little bit as you go forward. And then the balance sheet, you just want to make sure that there's sufficient assets um, and that there, that, and in particular, that there's sufficient current assets to operate the business in case there's some kind of an impact, some strategic event, some downturn that the organization has to deal with, and that it is in a strong position to attract capital if it needs to do that. All right. Effectively, you're looking at to find a balance sheet that shows professional, ethical stewardship of the shareholders' value and the, the banker's uh, debt equity or debt uh, payments that are in the business, the liabilities, that, that there is a professional and ethical stewardship of those assets. One of the big topics the last 20 years has been off balance sheet investments and how that's done. There's some real inefficiencies associated with that. Different topic. Um, the ethical element of off balance sheet versus on balance sheet and um, those of you that are doing the accounting can explain um, some of those issues to some of our colleagues. Uh, again, this is not a financial analysis class. It's strategic strategy and policy. Uh, you have to watch out for those things as a professional, but we don't really get into them. Uh, with the one case on the ethical and financial side countrywide, which will be coming up, and I think we have some finance people that will give us a good review and analysis of that, and maybe some of these issues might be highlighted. So that's the balance sheet side. Don't forget the notes. They can be dry, but they can also be quite interesting reading. When You, you can really learn about how a company uh, sets itself up, how it works, what it does, uh, how it does make some of its assumptions. Um, you want to look for things that just don't strike you as right. This element of looking at financials, uh, it does take a trained eye. Um, I just want you to do this sort of thing, looking at it to get a sense of what people do. But you may read things and not see red flags that someone who does this for a living would immediately identify. It takes experience to kind of look through and see what's not quite right. Because very skilled, very intelligent and thoughtful individuals are writing these notes with the specific purpose of making the organization objectively, but look strong, as opposed to highlighting weaknesses, materiality assumptions and the like. Are are loaded up in the notes. So that's another area where you can find information. Again, we don't really have this too much in this class, but I just want to mention how important they are when you do a real assessment uh, and you're responsible for this uh, financial analysis section of the strategic assessment that you want to uh, be, be aware of this and spend a lot of time understanding and thinking through all of this material.